Oh, oh, oh wow, he slammed that one. Woo! Man, oh man, it feels like a nice fish. Always easy, always bring them up nice and easy. We moved them about 22 foot of water off this rock pile here. Always, always nice and easy. With the slow, steady pressure. When you're do, doing this, this kind of fishing, folks, you don't really have to set the hook. You just let him set the hook himself and bring up slow. And I, oh, wow! Man, oh man! Net head first. Bring him in. Wow, that's what you're talking about! Woo! Oh man, that's a five, six pound fish. Look at that. Man, oh man, is my other rod going off? I don't think so, no. Look at that. That is a nice fish, folks. That's five, six pounds. Man, oh man. Look at, look at that. Ooh. He's not happy about that. Now we just caught the fish. We're coming up here to do that drift again. And what we're doing now is, besides using a live snapper, is we're looking for little schools of bait being chased by snappers. And even though big fluke are lazy in nature, they're still predatory, which is why we're using the snappers. And I want to show you folks something here too at home. Let me come around here. If you'll notice, this fish is full of spots. I keep saying rocks and fish the hard bottom rocky areas this time of the season. But if you notice, he's got the large blotches on his back, along with some of the whitest spots along the edges and on his fins. And if you really look at his tail, you can really see some nice spots on his tail. They're camouflaging themselves on the rocky bottom. And that's why we want to keep our drift nice and slow, because they're lazy fish. You may see bait being sprayed and some of the smaller snappers and some of the smaller fluke chasing them, but big fluke are lazy. I also want to show you just why we use the snappers, and a lot of you folks may underestimate just how predatory in nature this fish really is. If you come in here and look at the size of these teeth in the mouth of this fluke, let me just pull this back and you can see those are some gigantic choppers, and they're very, very sharp teeth. You have to keep your hands away from there. And, these, and this fish can really open up his mouth wider than I have it here, and it can really just suck down these snappers without any kind of a problem. Now this is a nice five and a half, six pound fish, but don't underestimate just how vicious a predator they are, but at the same time, remember, the larger fish do become very lazy, and we want to drift real nice and slow, deep water, good, hard, rocky bottom, and live snappers. Let's go rig up, get ready, maybe we can do this again.